Hey guys, so today we're going to show you how to make a spaghetti squash with meat sauce. So I'll have to admit I'm not usually a huge squash person, but I absolutely love using spaghetti squash as a healthier alternative to pasta. It's seriously so delicious and its sweetness pairs surprisingly well with a traditional meat sauce. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get into the spaghetti squash. It's actually really difficult, so be careful not to cut yourself. I found that the easiest thing to do was to stick your knife in and sort of wiggle it back and forth until you cut all the way through the squash. Once you have the squash halved, just take a spoon and scrape out all of those seeds and pulp. We don't want those, but you can roast the seeds later if you want to. Now we just do a quick seasoning. I drizzle a couple tablespoons of olive oil and then sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper. Then place them face down on a baking sheet and throw them into a 400 degree oven for 55 minutes. Depending on the size of your squash, you might need to bake them about five minutes longer. And while those are baking, we're going to work on the sauce. So we start by grating one medium onion and two carrots. And then we throw about two tablespoons of olive oil into a pan and turn it on to medium heat. And then we throw the onion and carrot into the pan and we cook those for uh, one to two minutes until they're softened. And then we squeeze in one clove of garlic. Let that cook for another minute or so or until it's fragrant. So now it's time to add the ground beef. I'm using about one and a quarter pounds, but anywhere between one and one and a half pounds is fine. Just break it up into chunks with your spatula and cook it until it's thoroughly browned. We just wanna transfer the beef into a slightly larger pan. We add one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, one six ounce can of tomato paste, and the paste I'm using is actually basil, garlic, and oregano flavored. And add about a cup of water. And we wanna leave that on medium heat and let it cook down for about 20 minutes or so. Just enough time for the sauce to reduce slightly and the flavors to really meld together. Once it's reduced, we just wanna add salt to taste and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now by the time you're done with your sauce, your squash should be just about ready. It's cooked if you can easily pierce the squash with a knife, and we can, so we're ready to take them out. Now just set those aside and let them cool for about 10 minutes, and when they're cool enough to handle, just flip them over, and then take your fork and scrape it along the flesh to create the strings of spaghetti. This is the fun part. And when most of the flesh has been pulled into strands, give the squashes a final season with salt and pepper. And then grate some Parmesan cheese on top. Finally, just spoon over a healthy serving of that meat sauce and top with more freshly grated Parmesan. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe as we put out new videos every week. Bye!